the next thing that we're going to talk about is uh, markdown format so mdx so what is mdx if you know md5 like our readme.md5 so this readme.md has certain structure for example you have a heading like this is like our h2 uh, in html if you just give one single hash then it is like h1 and then you have this back tick to highlight items then you have this syntax to make it as a link you have this star start to make things as bold you have you have this uh, back tick and then the you know sh javascript css html all this thing to denote what kind of uh, code snippet you want to put so there are a bunch of um, construct the format that you follow in the md dot md markdown mdx supports all of those in md you also can embed certain html like i'm embedding c here you know a p a h1 if if i just uh, want to see this like how this one see in the preview see this is the one this particular image come over there you know i i can use the emojis and all these things that i can do in the markdown so everything you can do in mdx plus you can do one great thing is like you can import your jsx component so it means that you can import your react component into your mdx file and that is really really so powerful Uh, so the here is a documentation link, and if you you just uh, look into this particular section of the page, if I'm hovering over, you see it is slash docs. So I have linked it with the slash docs, and slash docs is a route to go to my index dot mdx page. Once I go to my index dot mdx page, this is the index dot mdx page. The getting started heading, then hobby land subheading, then some text about, it, then see emailing from. You know, cloudinary uh, CDN. You can show it from anywhere locally also. So you can actually see this side by side. This is this is how it is, right? So you are already seeing our first documentation. So this is the first documentation um, that is live on your doc site for for using. Isn't that cool? So if you change anything over here, the changes reflects immediately uh, into your doc site, and you should be able to see this happening right away. So now, what we'll be doing, we'll be going to our heading.mdx. So let's create a heading.mdx file. So in the heading.mdx file, uh, I want you to pay some attention over here. So we have already fixed a route like our doc site will be served into slash docs. Index.js file already done that. Now what we want to do, we want to put all these components, that their documentation, under the components menu. Do you see that here? This is the components menu. If I expand, I have button, heading, and hobby card already, right? So we are talking about headings. So what is the link that when you are writing headings documentation, you put this documentation under this particular menu item and name it as headings, okay? And then I'll just ignoring this for a moment. I have a heading. Then what is it about? I have a subheading, and then I see this code, which is almost look like a HTML code, right? And if I look into this import and this together, this look like JSX. Because JSX is that syntax where you have JavaScript and HTML kind of master together and it's almost look like the similar kind of um, syntax, isn't it? Now let's you know zoom in and try to understand this. So first thing that I'm importing is something called playground. And then our heading component. You remember our heading component? We just created a heading component using our application already. This is that heading component. So I'm importing that heading component in, inside the heading.mdx file. And there's a playground I'm importing from Docs, Doxy. Playground is an inbuilt component of Doxy. Helps you to perceive the code documentation much, much cleaner way. This is a way where you can see this heading component, how it will be actually rendered into an application site alongside the code that's, that is making it render. This is the hobby card and uh, this is the name and it goes inside the component. So we can actually uh, start putting some, something is like, you know, um, hobby card component is to define a hobby with a name, description, and rank. So what we can do over here right, right now is like we can bring in 
different kind of hobby cards and uh, while bringing in these different kind of hobby cards um, we can uh, showcase like okay, we give different kind of data to it and based on each of this data uh, it started reacting in a way like uh, we expected to do like in our application exactly like what happened in our application right let's see like what have shaped so far whether has it come or not yeah it has come the one that we have given in the beginning like hobby card component is defined blah 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 it has come over there 